65 California and we're here for stop the swap swap me and uh, yeah I'm doing the live stream my name is Clark Sullivan how are you doing good did you introduce yourself uh well not just yet I've Hi, hi. My name is Clark Sullivan. Yeah. Right, and uh, I was on your Facebook page. Um, uh, so I found out how I found out about this, and I do live streaming for Occupy He's events. Live stream us. All right. right. So. Thank you. Live us. Well, so this is a great event. Can see us yeah. You know, thanks for everybody to show up. Okay. Good. Uh, the CEO thanks. Of, yeah. Uh, Golden Sachs. So. Cool. If you have any questions? Be sure and ask. And the we'll time do. is in the back. Okay. Thank you for coming. Right. My group actually printed these cards up. That I belong to, yeah. So I'm into it. I'm a full-time activist, and uh, so tell. Could you tell us what uh, what people are here to do? What here, people are here today? Well, Donna, can you go on live stream and tell him? Yeah, you want to tell us what's what's up today with the with the demonstration? Come on, and Donna, do it together. Do it together. Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. Hi, um, will you, will you and Donna talk to him about what we're yeah, here yeah. for? Okay, Donna, here you go. Oh, here you go. She does. And your name is? Your name, sir? My name is Tim Thomas. Thank you. Clark. I'm with the Coal Coalition to Stop Goldman Sachs. Thank you. Tell him what this is about. All right, uh, and what are you here today? Uh, what are you guys doing? Today, the city of Oakland have to pay $2.1 million uh, to Goldman Sachs, which is located on the 45th floor up here. 45th floor? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So we're here uh, this afternoon basically uh, to protest that fact. Because what is happening is when Oakland pay money to Goldman Sachs, it can't take care of services like libraries or paving the streets, you know, or in fact, you know, pay workers instead of laying them out. So that's why we're here. We're here as a symbolic protest. You know, this is not a major demonstration. It's trying to do a little speak theater here. I don't know, if you look over here at the fences, right, check them out, man. Yeah. Well, it looks like freaking, uh, you know, the people here. This is not B of A anymore, I guess, right? Uh, I, I guess it still is B of A. But we're going to be here today because Goldman Sachs is a banking building, so it's going to own the 45th floor. Okay, cool. So I heard you guys are going to go up with a letter or something? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we have a letter uh, to the CEO of Goldman Sachs uh, telling them to drop this swap deal where Oakland is paying $2 million that it really don't Can't have. afford to pay, right? Yeah. Wait, I thought it was more than that, actually. Like, yeah, thought... well, it's, it's actually... Four million dollars a year. The payment now is two million uh, in uh, uh, Ju uh, you know July 31st, and then there's going to be another one in January 31st. Yeah, no, and that came in that Oakland's closing down schools and everything. Yeah. So it's pretty bad, you know, all the way around, and and basically uh, they privatize. Basically, it's well, it's been what's going on wrong. I think they're privatizing. When you privatize all your debt, you're going to be uh, you're playing with the loan sharks of Wall Street, right? Yeah. So, uh, and everybody knows uh, they can violate the law and get away with it. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just too bad. Yeah. Uh, but that's why I'm here, and that's why you're here. Yep. So we want to kind of make some change. That's exactly right. what we're trying to do, partner. You know, and uh, this is uh, one of the more infamous spots in San Francisco, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Lots of bad deals are made in this building, let me tell you. Yeah. Boy, I think the deal to, to move B of A out of San Francisco was made in this building. Yeah. Up there. How many floors do you think it is? 45. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. So are you know, you're an Oakland resident? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Last 25 years. So, do uh, you have any thoughts about the Occupy movement? Support the efforts uh, of the Occupy movement. Uh, the other hat that I, I uh, wear is that I'm a member of the Roots Organization, which is formed to Occupy the Hood. 
So, so we have basic unity and deference of the occupied culture. Good. <sighs> nice day outside, folks. Glad you're watching. Uh, you can check me out on uh, my Ustream channel. It's Occupy San Francisco. If you'd like to send a tweet or talk to me live, uh, please uh, log into the social stream and uh, you can chat with me. Let me know how the feed looks, whatnot. Ask you know, if you have any more questions. If you want me to go and talk to somebody that's in the crowd here or if you want to walk up to the BMA, I'm going to try and walk up to the, the door here in a minute. Uh, you know, you'd think that uh, that we were out here, uh, I got all the barricades up. I thought the oh, right, this place is, uh, they're definitely prepared for protesters here. Uh, I can assure you of that, right? And they got a, there's some police sitting across the street, discreetly placed. Anyway, let me get a little closer to the action here. I got to go back to my chair, folks. Uh. Oh, I know. The whole damn thing will roll down the hill. We're up on a steep hill here in San Francisco. In case you've never been here. Uh, sending you some love from San Francisco. We're about ready to start here. Take one here the other side? Yeah, sure. Right. Yeah. As you can see, my name is Mr. Blankcheck, and I work for Goldman Sachs. We're changing the name to Sachs Loots and Pillage because it's a little bit closer to what we're after. These are the whiners that complain about things like senior citizen homes. They whine about swimming pools. They whine about schools. And worst of all, because they wait all day for buses, they think I should care. And I don't. And there's no reason for me to. And they need to get over it and get used to it. If you're dealing, if you play in the woods, you've got to expect ticks. And that's what's happened with Oakland. And we're a happy tick engorged with plenty of Oakland's cash money. So all these people are whiners, and I'm going to make sure that none of them get into the building. Because we don't want to hear it, we don't want to see it, we don't want to know about it. We're happy as ticks on a doll. Got it? Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Little street theater here at 555 California at Kearney in San Francisco. If you're in the area, drop by. I'll be happy to talk to you and inform you about how Oakland is getting writ. Uh, I believe to the tune of, of 70 mil. Um, I did a little read. I read a little bit about this before I came down, and uh, it's interesting. It's all about credit rate swaps, right? Where uh, when Oakland borrowed this money, I guess back in the 80s, 90s. Well, anyway, it was a while back. Uh, the interest rate was five percent, and uh, and uh, anyway, the interest rate was five percent. When Oakland borrowed the money, and after the bank collapse, or you know, whatever, too big to fail, right? These chumps, uh, uh, the interest rate went down to practically nothing. And Oakland wanted to renegotiate their loan. And uh, I'm going to go ahead over here and sign this for everybody. This is my signature. I'm going to sign for all the people that are watching here on the live stream. You we couldn't be down here. Oh, I think I can handle it. All right. I'm pretty good. Just pull a cap for me, if you would. That's not That's right. There we go. I'll put my John Henry on there. Oh, excellent. There you go. Superb. Cool. Thank you. Anyway, I'm signing for all you guys. So, oh, just a second here, and I'll back up. And uh, maybe everybody can read it here. Anyway, it says, Dear Mr. Blankfine, we are church leaders, union members, community organizers, activists, and concerned Oakland residents who have come together to confront our city's economic crisis. Members of our coalition attended the Goldman Sachs annual shareholders meeting on May 24th and demanded that you cancel the interest rate swap with the city of Oakland. On July 3rd, 2012, the Oakland City Council voted unanimously on a resolution drafted by our coalition informing the city of Oakland will no longer do business with Goldman Sachs. The citizens of Oakland have two simple demands for Goldman Sachs. Cancel the swap agreement with the City of Oakland without requiring the onerous termination fee currently at or currently around 16 mil. Return to Oakland the estimated $18 million that the City has been forced to pay since 2008 when the taxpayers bailed out your bank and the swap was no longer tied to a bond. Today Oakland is scheduled to make another nearly $2 million twice yearly 
payment to Goldman Sachs on a toxic swap that is robbing our city of needed funds for public safety, libraries, and other needed services. Enough is enough. Your bank received a $10 billion infusion in 2008 under the TARP Capital Purchase Program, plus $14 billion from the Federal Reserve's bailout of AIG. In 2009, Goldman Sachs borrowed another $30 billion from the United States Treasury at interest rates as low as 0.01%. Uh, I forgot the decimal point. Anyway, you were relieved of your troubled assets by the taxpayers, but the city of Oakland is still stuck with your toxic swap deal with no relief. The transfer of wealth from the people of Oakland to Goldman Sachs is a crime against our community, our families, and our city. Terminate Oakland swap deal without penalty and pay back the money you owe us. Sincerely, Oakland Coalition to Stop Goldman Sachs. Right. The coalition members are ACE, ACE Alliance of Californians for Community Empowerment, Bay Natives for Peace and Justice, Decolonize Oakland, ILWU Local 10, Interfaith Tent at Oakland, Oakland Can Community Action Network, Occupy Oakland Labor Solidarity Committee, Occupy Oakland Research Working Groups, Roots Reclaiming Oakland Organizing Through Solidarity, SEIU Local 1021, Individual Concerned Oakland Residents, and email is Stop Goldman Sachs at gmail.com. The phone number, if you wish to call, is 510-250-7222. And very good. Thank you. Uh, very good. Thank you. Anyway, we're about ready to begin the something here. Everybody's out. Starting to get a nice little crowd. There's about 30 people, maybe 40 people. Glad you're logging in and watching the show. If you want to chat with me, uh, log into the social stream. You can go into uh, obau.org, uh, and I'm on the home page, and there's a, a, a stream that's underneath of the, or not a stream, but a chat room that's underneath the, the video, and you can log on if you're logged on with Facebook or Twitter, well then you can chat with me and let me know what the, what the webcast looks like. Uh, I'm live here at 555 California Street, uh, if you'd like to tweet me, at Freeman Sullivan. Uh, I'm glad to be here today. Thought I was going to be late, but got here on time. Been feeling better. I actually walked most of the way here. Uh, pretty shortly, I'll be out of this wheelchair. Thank goodness. Uh, my next broadcast or webcast will be tomorrow at 4 p.m. and we'll be at Haight and Steiner at the Vapor Room to cover the funeral procession of yet another medical marijuana dispensary. So. Be sure to log on and check out. Check that out. And that'll be on my Ustream channel, uh, which is Occupy San Francisco. So I hope you're watching tomorrow. If you can't make it, what I'd rather like what I'd rather see of you viewers is to actually get off your butts and get out and protest and get out in the street and let everybody know about what you think is important. That's what it's all about. So uh, anyway, I want to make it possible for you to watch what's going on here. Especially if you're out of the area. And, uh, oh, still nobody logged in on social stream. I don't think anybody's figured that out yet. I noticed John Avalos has uh, made it over here. I'm going to roll on down here, down the hill. Somebody can get to the to the live streaming by going to OBAU? Yeah, OBAU.org. Okay. I'm like uh, the second thing down. How you doing? Oh, that was Channel 2 News. I forgot the guy's name. He's actually, you know, a lot of the reporters, I feel, get unfairly judged by the news airport, but it's still mainstream media, baby. And, uh, we got it over there. We all know that the White House is directing the news nowadays. And, uh, anyway, how you guys doing? Glad to see you. I'm doing just great, you know? Getting better by the day, right? Yeah. Everybody yeah. We have all these lovely children. How you doing? I like your coat. I say hi to my viewers. You're on live stream. It's always great. Let's see, we got SEIU members down here today. I think we have the San Francisco local and the Oakland local that's representing. John, he's a progressive champion of uh, rights here in the 
making San Francisco a better city. Yeah, around this kind of steep hill, but you can see the next block is even steeper. Right, so if you come down to San Francisco, next block up is Chinatown. It's always a great place to visit. I love. Uh, we're actually going to go up the steps here. Uh, it's going to take me a second. Hold on. Just pardon me. I'm camera's going to be moving around a little bit. Oh, I didn't have a. Hey, if you're interested in producing for me, that would be really great. Uh, you can contact me and tweet me at Freeman Sullivan. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, as I'm moving around, I have a hard time moving around. Doing the best I can. Spilling coffee all over myself, of course. Give me a second here. Yeah, I know. I see oh, it. Um, okay. I got it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Hey, could you do me a favor? Yeah. I can get up the steps. Could you push my chair around or something? Oh, around the top? Yeah. Or? Thanks. Yeah. That way I can keep people covered here. Yep. There we go. That's a little colder up here, of course. Well, they even have a fence around the banker's heart. This is a... This infamous building here is the uh, used to be the Bank of America building. Uh, it's owned by Walter Schornstein now, I believe. Hey, thanks. Cool. Um, live streaming. Uh, my name's Clark. I'm uh, live streaming hey, this. How are you? Would you like to cool. sign? Well, I kind of kind of hold the camera. Yeah. yeah. But I'd like to. That's why I'm down here. I'm not just a spectator. A little media down here today. They got bailed out. We got sold out. They got bailed out. We got sold out. Welcome to the drop the swap swap meeting. We are the Oakland Coalition to stop Goldman Sachs. TV. Oh. 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 Two million bucks. Oh. I 
need some more stuff. Let's hear something else. Oh! Oh! Let's talk about no, this. I 
Damn, Blake. Say it. First, you don't even have houses. Half of you we foreclosed on, so don't worry about it. Oh, you know, firefighters, how important is that? The whole deal is that we need to take care of the rich. But I want you to know that Goldman Sachs has an absolute policy. We don't listen. We don't care. You got it? Thank you for watching our little street theater where we illustrate the relationship between Goldman Sachs, the Greeley Bank, and the citizens of Oakland. We're now going to have our press conference, and our first speaker is Reverend Kurt Kuwalt. He represents the Oakland Coalition to Stop Goldman Sachs. So this is the letter that we intend to deliver to the offices of Goldman Sachs. We want uh, CEO blank check fine, excuse me, blank fine to read this letter and to take it seriously because we do mean business. This is what we have said. We've addressed it to Lloyd C. Blank Fine. Chairman and CEO, Goldman Sachs and Company. Dear Mr. Blankfein, we are church leaders, union members, community organizers, <laughs> activists, and concerned Oakland residents who have come together to confront our city's economic crisis. Members of our coalition attended the Goldman Sachs annual shareholders meeting on May 24th, and we demanded that you cancel the interest rate swap with the city of Oakland. On July 3rd, 2012, the Oakland City Council voted unanimously on a resolution drafted by our coalition informing Goldman Sachs that if your bank does not terminate the swap without penalty, the City of Oakland will no longer do business with Goldman Sachs. <laughs> Citizens of Oakland have two simple demands for Goldman Sachs. Number one, cancel the swap agreement with the city of Oakland without requiring the onus, onerous termination fee currently around $16 million. Number two, return to Oakland the estimated $18 million that the city has been forced to pay since 2008, when the tax payers bailed out your bank and the swap was no longer tied to a bond. Yes. 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 Today, Oakland is scheduled to make another nearly $2 million twice yearly payment to Goldman Sachs on a toxic swap that is robbing our city of needed funds for public safety, libraries, and other needed services. Enough is enough. 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 Your bank, the letter goes on, received a ten billion dollar infusion. A ten billion dollar infusion in 2008 under TARP Capital Purchase Program. Plus. 14 billion from the Federal Reserve's bailout of AIG. In 2009, Goldman Sachs borrowed another 30 billion dollars from the U.S. Treasury at interest rates as low as 0.01 percent. You were relieved of your troubled assets by the taxpayers, but the city of Oakland is still stuck with your toxic swap deal with no relief. The transfer of wealth from the people of Oakland to Goldman Sachs is a crime against our community, yes. our families, and our city. That's right. Terminate Oakland's swap deal without penalty and pay back the money you owe us. Yes. We've lost 
services. We continue to lose services because we have banks like Goldman Sachs who understand how to take advantage of programs to relieve their debt crisis, but they can't understand how to work with cities like ours so that we can we can alleviate some of the crisis that we're having in the city of Oakland. Over the years that we've had this swap agreement, we've paid out over $32 million. If this agreement goes forward, we stand to pay another $20 million to Goldman Sachs. They've received all the money that they were going to get on this swap. This $16 million is just greed on top of greed. That's why the Oakland City Council passed the resolution that said if they don't cancel the swap without a fee, that we won't do business with Goldman Sachs anymore. I hope that other jurisdictions will follow our lead. Because if we stop these greedy banks from preying on our communities, we will all be better off. They got bailed out. We got sold out. $17 million liability with uh, Goldman Sachs. I'll be looking at that as well, and I want to thank Alton for starting uh, this effort to, to pull back our tax dollars, make sure that they go for the purposes that they're supposed to go for, for the people of, uh, of our country. Thank you very much. Woo! Woo! Right, District 11 Supervisor, San Francisco. And our last speaker today is uh, Pastor Brian K. Woodson. He's the founder of the Bay Area Christian connection at the heart of down in the heart of downtown Oakland and we've been very proud in our um, coalition to work with a number of clergy who are supporting us. Now we need to drop the swamp. Today we have exposed the greed and the immorality of the one percent. The filthy and undeserving rich who write laws that allow them to steal and pillage our municipalities and communities. They steal with impunity, 
that must be opposed and they must be imprisoned. <laughs> the filthy and undeserving rich hide behind their lawyers and paid off politicians while they intend to impoverish generations of people. People whose only crime is that they wish to work and live off their work. Yes. That's right. That's right. We are here to declare that they are not clever, they are just evil. Yeah. Right. Goldman Sachs is that part of the 1% that has stolen our homes, corrupted our pensions, taken our tax money, and now holds our city hostage to a Ponzi scheme where they manipulated the financial realities so that only the people would lose. That's right. That's right. But we are here to say on behalf of the 99% that immoral laws must be ignored. That's right. We are here to declare that the many standing for what is just and right must have power over the few who spread darkness and deal in deceit. That's right. Amen. The filthy, greedy, undeserving rich who would rather millions suffer than pay another dollar in tax. The dragons of our time who would rather our village burn to the ground than return one ounce of gold that they have stolen must not be allowed to hide behind corrupt laws and complicit politicians. We must expose these vampires as we have done today and in the light of the people, they must go away. Wherever rich people go when they are no longer on the earth, that's where they need to go. What we need, what we need is a non-violent French solution. The French had this problem when the 1% that they Revolution. called royals, took all the money, and they said when the people were starving, let them eat cake. But the French yeah, had no, a solution you, to I gotta that. Turn off my text message. We need an American non-violent solution yes. to rid ourselves of the plague and the scourge that are the 1%. Now, now. World revolution is possible, folks. You heard it here. <laughs> yeah! This is our letter to Mr. Blank. <laughs> and Kurt is going to, Reverend Kurt is going to um, lead us as we go over there and try to deliver it to him. So why don't you all come with me because I think this is a people's movement, so the people need to represent. Yeah! <laughs> Does anybody have 
Welsh Axe is fine right there. Like, uh, if somebody go online and then uh, check it and see if we got Golden Axe's phone number here in San Francisco. And uh, you get the number, call them up and tell them about this. And Oakland uh, wants their loan renegotiated here. It's only fair. If you can find a number uh, and tweet it to me here at Freeman Sullivan, then uh, we'll be back. Come on to our social stage so we can call up Goldman Sachs and see if they'll send out a representative. We will be back. We will be back. So if anybody's got Goldman Sachs' phone number, could you post it on the stream here so we can call them up? And uh, let's see. Anyway, we're here at 555 California. Uh, we're at the Stop the Swap, Swap Meet. We're at five, here in San Francisco. Glad you're here watching. Uh, this, I cover Occupy and other anti-authoritarian events here in San Francisco in the Bay Area, mostly in San Francisco. Uh, it is now 12 o'clock. We're here at the Stop the Squad Coalition sponsor the event. Trip, it's sweet. Definitely, uh, want well, to let them know that the city of Oakland is angry, and uh, they don't want to do business with Goldman Sachs anymore. Well, I, I can't say as I don't blame them, but then again, when the bailout happened, I was one of eight people down at the Federal Reserve Bank to witness the biggest step in American history. Well, maybe not, as we've been finding out lately, that the banks are even more. They're even greedier than they than we thought they were, but it should come as no surprise. After all, there's the banker's heart. Hey, not bad, not bad. How you doing? Thanks so much, man. Hey, no really problem, no problem. Thanks for speaking. Okay, yeah. brother. What are you doing, brother? What are you doing? Anyway, my next live stream. Uh, I'll be up and running tomorrow at 4:20 at Hayden Steiner at the Vapor Room. Uh, we'll be covering uh, the medical marijuana march. Uh, yet another dispensary closes here in the city of San Francisco, uh, the place where medical marijuana came to be. So we'll be at the vapor room. Uh, I'll be on at four or four twenty, and uh, hope you that you're uh, watching uh, my uh, excuse me my uh, my URL is. Ustream.tv slash channel slash Occupy San Francisco. So I uh, hope you're showing up tomorrow. If you want to tweet me, it's at Freeman Sullivan. Email Freeman Sullivan at gmail.com. And uh, feel free to uh, chat or send me an email. Uh, if you send me an email, you get a quick response. So do join me tomorrow at 4 p.m. This is Clark Sullivan signing off.